So last time we learned about some commands for Linux. Specifically, we learned about PWD, LS, and CD. For the CD command, we had to tell the computer what directory we wanted to move to. So we typed something like CD homework one to move into the homework one directory. The homework one part of this was an argument to the CD command. An argument is just a piece of data that the command needs to execute or to run. A command might not need any arguments. We used PWD and LS just by themselves. We used one argument with the CD command, and then later on we'll see commands that need two or more arguments. Now, in this particular lecture, we're going to be talking about some special directories in a Linux uh, directory hierarchy. So we're going to need to explore outside of our little example of a fall semester and some classes that we've been working with up until now. All the files on a computer are in a hierarchy. So what does the entire hierarchy look like? A couple of key assign key concepts that we're going to be working with now are the current working directory, which we've already been talking about, the root directory, and last but not least, the home directory. So let's start with the root directory. The root directory is the start of our file system, or our directory hierarchy. The analogous concept in Windows would be something like the C drive, where everything is stored. Then Windows has a number of child directories, some for application software, some for different users of the computer, et cetera, et cetera. Same thing in Linux, but it's not called the C drive. Instead, we call it the root directory. It's the root of your upside down tree that we talked about earlier. In the root directory, there are lots of child directories, some for application software, some for different users, and so on and so forth, just like other um, operating systems. In fact, Linux and other Unix-like operating systems are meant to be used by many users. Mac and Windows computers tend to have one owner or one primary user. Linux and Unix, on the other hand, are often used as servers or computers that have accounts for many, many users. When you log into one of our computers in the Math and CS department, you don't own it. It can be used by many different students taking this course as well as other computer science courses. So how does our file hierarchy support this? Well, each of you has what's called a home directory. This is your personal space in the directory hierarchy. This is where you can store whatever data you want. Now, you can only store things in your home directory. You can't store things to other users' home directories or to special directory, directories like the root directory, unless you have special privileges, which you shouldn't. Whenever you log into a Linux computer, you'll be in your home directory as a starting place. So let's have an example and take a look at a... example here in our um, running um, window. Okay, so when I log in, I'll be in my um, root directory, or excuse me, my home directory. So let's type pwd here. And you can see that in this case, it says slash home slash vsummit. Now, obviously, when you log in, you're not going to have access to my uh, home directory. You'll have access to your home directory. So in this case, your home directory will be named with whatever ID you log in, which should be your Emory ID. So yours will look similar, but not identical to this. So now we're going to learn some shortcuts for navigating to some of these special directories. We're gonna learn a shortcut for the root directory, your home directory, and then a shortcut for moving up the directory hierarchy. So I'm gonna demonstrate each of these three commands each of these concepts by using the three commands we've learned so far, CD, PWD, and LS. So first, the root directory. The shortcut for this directory is just a single forward slash. So what I'm gonna do here is, is I'm gonna type CD slash, okay? Nothing else, not, not any other words or anything like that, just CD slash, okay? And again, the prompt comes right back. We don't get any output. 
So we need to explore a little bit. So let's type PWD and see where we are. Okay, well, PWD tells us that we are at the very, very, very top of our uh, directory hierarchy. That slash indicates that it's the root directory, the very top. So let's take a look around and see what's in this particular directory. So there's lots of stuff here. You notice again the color highlighting. Um, lots of these directories have interesting and useful things in them, but they're not really relevant to this class. Okay, next let's learn the shortcut for the home directory. So the shortcut for the home directory is a tilde, which is usually a little used key on your keyboard and you may have to look around for it. So in this case, let's type CD and now we're going to type a tilde, which is this little squiggly character here. Um, when I hit enter again, no output, so I type PWD to see where I am, and I am back to my home directory. All right. So if I type LS, again, there's lots of folders here, including the fall folder that we created um, as our little example file directory hierarchy earlier. So I can identify my home directory based on my user ID. And here's a nifty shortcut as well. Up until now, we've been using CD with one argument. It turns out you can use CD with no arguments. So let me navigate here to a subdirectory so you can see how this works. So if I type PWD, you see I moved into my fall CS170 directory. If I type CD, no arguments, and I hit enter, it took me back to my home directory. So that can be a really useful little shortcut for you to get back to your home directory if you need to. Okay, so how can I navigate um, things? Well, you just saw me do one example here where I started in my home directory, I moved into the fall directory, and then I moved into the CS170 directory. So let me head back there again. All right, so now I'm back in my CS170 directory. Well, what if I want to go up into my physics directory for the fall semester instead of the CS170 directory? How can I do that? Well, we know how we could. We could move to our home directory. Then we could move into the fall directory. I'm going to type LS here so we can see our, our directories. And then I could move into my physics directory if I wanted to and just to prove I am in the physics directory but that seems like a lot of work I had to go all the way back to my home directory and then navigate down again and it is a lot of work so instead of always going back to the home directory and then navigating down the tree Linux provides a way to move back up the tree to, so to go up one level in our directory hierarchy and the shortcut is a period followed by another period. In computer science, we usually say dot dot rather than period period. We say dot dot, but it's on your keyboard, it'll be the, the period um, punctuation mark. So that shortcut, the dot dot, is going to reference the parent directory. So I'm currently in my physics directory and I need to get to my Spanish folders. I can just move up one level using my dot dot shortcut and then I can move into my Spanish folder. So, in this case, let's go ahead and I'm going to cd dot dot, okay? I'm not using the name of a folder, I'm just saying go up to the parent directory. So we're in the physics directory, the parent directory is fall. So that's where it should take us. So I type cd dot dot, and now if I type pwd, you can see I have in fact moved up one level. I can do it again, and you can now see I'm in my home directory. So once I'm in my fall directory, then I can move into my Spanish directory if I want to. So this is an easy way of navigating. And this is much, much quicker over time to move up a directory and then back down rather than going all the way back to your home directory and starting over every time you want to, to move up a little bit. Okay, there was a lot of detail in this lecture, but we've got some basic tools now. So in this case, we started out with just PWD, LS, and CD, and we've learned some different arguments that we can use for these. We also learned the concept of our root directory, 
and our home directory as well in terms of shortcuts. So we now have shortcuts to help us reference these special directories. We have a slash for the root directory, we have a tilde for the home directory, and we have dot dot which is a parent directory so it will move you up one level. So we can use all of these uh, different shortcuts with the cd command that we've seen so far to make navigating quicker and easier.